What we are looking at today is a $928 billion package over eight years. Senate Republicans releasing their latest counteroffer to President Biden's $1.7 trillion infrastructure plan. We believe that this counteroffer delivers on what President Biden told us in the Oval Office that day. The White House acknowledging Republicans' compromise, but saying the counteroffer doesn't go far enough, pressing for more money to pay for things like veterans' hospitals, rail upgrades, and clean water. And serious disagreements remain on how to pay for it. Republicans want to pull funds from previous COVID relief bills. In a statement, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said that could imperil previous aid to small businesses, restaurants, and rural hospitals. We should also be clear that there are simply not hundreds of billions of dollars in COVID relief funds available to repur re repurpose. If the White House is saying that that's money has been spent, then they, they need to show us that. Biden would pay for his plan with tax hikes on corporations and the wealthy, which Republicans say are off the table. What makes them think we want to undo the tax reform <laughs> that gave us the best economy of my lifetime? So what happens now? The Senate going on vacation for Memorial Day and negotiations continue. You just put forth a counter offer. Is this your final offer? No, we're going to keep talking and I understand the president's willing to keep talking. Nathaniel Reed, Newsy, the Capitol.